you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another get ready with me. I did my very first get ready with me not too long ago and it was really special because it was the very first time I ever put a full face of makeup on myself in my life. So this is the second time I've ever put a full face of makeup on myself in my life and I have some new things to try because I've been buying some new makeup here and there in the spirit of starting to do these kinds of videos. And of course I am in my FabFitFun robe but the last time I did this, I started off with primer and foundation and I started that way. I have seen a lot of people start with their eyes, start with the actual eyeshadow because I guess that way you can deal with the fallout and get that off before you put on your foundation and that makes a lot of sense. So this time I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow. Last time I used this Real Her palette. And I am not a makeup expert, obviously, but I don't think that this is a very good palette. From what I tried, I am going to hang on to it because maybe it was just user error. error. It's, it seems like it would be a really nice palette, and I got this in the Fall Cause box, and those are the colors. It felt like really powdery, and I don't know if that is ideal or not, but it just felt a little bit pow powdery. I was also dealing with the Real Her eyeshadow brush that this came with, and I don't think that that was a good brush, so I am not going to use that. I have purchased uh, Wet n Wild for several of your recommendations. Well, I don't know about several. A few of you recommend <laughs> recommended Wet n Wild brushes, so I was able to score this one. It was the one and only one they had at my CVS in town and it's really cute look at this little thing so this is a standard eyeshadow brush i don't know what i'm talking about i think it's it's a large eyeshadow brush standard i don't know what's standard in this world yet i will one day know what standard isn't it so cute it goes perfectly with my robe um anyway so this feels a lot better than the real her brush that i was using a lot less rigid so i'm excited to play with this i'm not going to use this palette in this video one of the things that i purchased uh, one, oh, two things. I have two things to show you. I made a mistake. I got this at TJ Maxx and it's Urban Decay. And the mistake I made is that Urban Decay, while Urban Decay is cruelty free, they are owned by L'Oreal. And L'Oreal is not cruelty free. And if you have been watching my channel, you know that I'm doing my darndest to go cruelty free with cosmetics. I need to branch out and do that in other realms of my life and I haven't gotten around to it yet and it's not easy it's really not easy so I made a mistake but this mistake kind of worked in my favor because I really want to try some Urban Decay stuff you really feel left out of being able to try a lot of things when you're trying to go cruelty free and if you are new to my channel no judgment if you're not doing a cruelty free thing going cruelty free is hard it's a decision I made for myself lately and I will tell you if I have used things that aren't cruelty free this is the Urban Decay Naked Palette this is what it looks like on the inside super pretty but it did come with its own brush so I got this at TJ Maxx for $24.99 so it wasn't terribly cheap and then it it says compare at $32 so it wasn't all that marked down I really sprung for this but I was excited to try out this new thing with makeup that I am learning about so you know what? instead of using the wet n wild brush that I was really excited to use I'm going to test out this brush that the palette comes with it's a double-ended brush so that's pretty cool so I am going to readjust you and zoom in on my face get all nice and close so you can see all of my flaws so that's close enough right I feel uncomfortable so I think that's perfect so I'm just going to again dive in I need you I need you to tell me what you think I'm doing wrong what you think I could be doing better what you do that works for you etc etc <sighs> let's go <laughs> I, I did learn in the last video that I am not as pale as I think I am. I look, I don't think that you can get any whiter than I am. So I'm going to go with this color nude in the crease. I'm not going to go as dramatic this time. Last time it, I swear it felt like I had two black eyes. Go back and watch that video. It wasn't as much of a disaster as I thought it was, I don't think. So I'm going to go in with the color, oh, it's called Nudie, N-U-D-I-E. And I'm going to go in there, in there, in there. <laughs> go. This brush is a lot more flexible. I don't see anything. It definitely is a nude color. I mean, it was, it's flesh colored. We're gonna scratch that. We're going darker. We're gonna go with Instinct. It's called Instinct. I'm gonna put that in the crease. Oh, look at all that right there. Learning things. Okay. 
I've seen some people put like scotch tape or a post-it even, <laughs> post-it. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone put a post-it. Let's put that over here now. I feel like I have a really deep crease to my eyes. Okay. <sighs> you know what? I also wanted to show you this. I got this Pacifica Natural Minerals palette at TJ Maxx as well. This one was $6.99 compare at $10. And I am really curious about this because Pacifica is cruelty free. And that's why I swung for this one. Look, it, it looks all clean and nice. And then it has that, and this one's cool because it has blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. The top is highlighters. I'm not seeing a good color in either of these palettes, though, for, like, right here. And there was a really good color in that Real Her palette for that, so I might actually use that in this video. That was, like, a really light mauve color I put in the crease. Like, I wish I had the Blue Blood palette right now. I think that that would be a little bit more fun. I'm gonna do this blue and coral. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do this one and this one somehow. So I'm gonna do the blue, I don't know, on the outside. This is very pastel-y. Can you even see it? Oh, this is so subtle. Oh, that's really subtle, but it's pretty. Can you even see anything? I feel like there's barely anything there. Then I'm gonna put that orangier color in the middle here. I'm holding the brush. It feels better. Feels better actually to let you guys see what I'm doing. So this is turning into a very subtle look. And I feel like it's more blue over here. But can you even see it? Can't even see it. So that nude color. I'm gonna try that on the brow bone. This is so powdery. Eyeshadow doesn't need to be this powdery. Like I can see like poofs of powder floating up from where I'm doing this. I do like doing this before the rest of the makeup. It makes sense. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. I guess that's subtle. I'm gonna do something with this orangey color. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's so dusty. Doing eyeshadow is so dusty. I'm gonna use the thinner end. This palette is exceptionally subtle. I'm gonna try putting more blue. Oh, they're not pigmented. That's when I would use that word. These colors are not very pigmented at all. Look, it looks like, I don't even know what to compare that to. Okay, well, I don't like either of these palettes so far. Maybe I'll get better, I don't like them more. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done with eyeshadow. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, which if you watched my last video, you know I'm quite confident. If you didn't hear the story, I kind of learned how to do them in Macy's. I was wandering through Macy's one day and there was a person, a woman working and she was really bored and she wanted to play and she asked me if she could play with my eyebrows and I said, I don't want to buy anything and she said, that's okay, I'm just bored. And so she ended up showing me a little bit about how to do eyebrows. So this is the Brow Style Definer by L'Oreal. This is also before I started to go cruelty free. So this one is not cruelty free. It is an excellent eyebrow pencil. At one end is the pencil and then it's got the spoolie on the other end which is really awesome. And so she said you just go in and you start and go against the way the hair grows and just kind of fill it in not very uh, intensely and then brush it out so that it's not splotchy, the color that you put into your eyebrow hairs. And then uh, there you go. That's how I do my eyebrows. And it takes no time at all, so I do the other one the same way, of course. So funny watching Tati, she always is like, oh, I gotta do my eyebrows next. <laughs> She's like, I always have an anxiety attack before doing my eyebrows. And I just want to swoop in and tell her it's gonna be okay. Okay. Eyebrows are done. And then I have been using this collab mascara. Again, I'm gonna mention Tati. I mention her a lot because she's just awesome. Sorry, I kicked the camera. And she, so Tati has been using this mascara and she loves it and I love it now too because I bought it because of her. It is a very big spoolie. So collab is a makeup line that was founded by a bunch of influencers. I don't know who, I haven't looked that far into it, but I do know that it is cruelty free and I really, really like it. I like to put my mascara on by pushing from the outer edge inward. I feel like I get more mascara on the outer lashes that way and then I spread them out.
Look at that mascara. That is amazing, right? And that's just one quick coat. I usually only do one coat. Did I show you the packaging? I got this one. Collab. They had a few, they had like four or five different mascaras. One was lengthening, one was volumizing, one was lashes, just all kinds of different kinds. And I just went with the, I don't even know, the pink one. I went with the pink one. <laughs> there were different colors. You know, I have noticed that with this mascara, every time I do the eyelashes on my left eye, I, I'm accidentally hitting my eyelid with the wand, so I just got some mascara on my eyelid. And that's frustrating because I just did the eyeshadow. Of course, I'm not very happy with this eyeshadow. Barely even see it. It is not pigmented. So, yeah, so check this mascara out. That's one coat. And I, I think it just does such a great job. It is as good as the mascara that I talk about a lot, the CoverGirl uh, Super Sizer Fibers, which is this mascara. I love this mascara. This one's cheaper. So the collab was $15, and I think they only sell it at Sally's. I haven't seen it anywhere else. And then the CoverGirl, of course, you can get anywhere, and this is like 6 or $7. I think I get this for $6 on Amazon. So I do have some new stuff to try on my face with the foundation. In my last video, the foundation was not the right color. It was so pale. I felt kind of silly. So I got this new, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation and this one has SPF and I have seen people say really really good things about this one. I am a neutral skin tone. I still, I want to talk to one of the people at the beauty bar or something at Sephora or Ulta to figure out what exactly I am, but I think that I'm neutral. So I got light, medium, in warm, and the last one I got was just light in warm. Oh, I got porcelain. I got porcelain in warm, and this was just way too light for me. It got better after I used the contour stick. So I'm gonna try this one, but I am gonna use the same primer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer in Dewy. They have a matte one, and I didn't get that one. <laughs> I got this one. This is what it looks like. I'm feeling a little more confident this time. So shimmery. I think maybe I put on too much primer last time too. Oh, I wonder if I should have done my eyebrows after the foundation. I probably should have saved my eyebrows. And I probably should have sh shaved my eyelashes. <laughs> I probably should have saved my eyelashes also for after this part. And learning, learning, shaved my eyelashes. <laughs> so dewy. Okay, so dewy. I think that's pretty evenly distributed. Now we're going to open up this cushion foundation. Okay, this is what the packaging looks like in case you're curious. All of the Wet n Wild stuff that I've picked up so far has been under $5, which is fantastic. And Wet n Wild is cruelty free. So it comes like this. And it has this little applicator pad. What do you call this? Oh, well, now that's cool. It has an extra little plastic thing to cover it and protect it even more. And then it's sealed with this. And I'm going to be opening it. And there you go. That's the concealer in there. Oh, it's all foamy looking. Is that why it's called cushion? It looks like it. It was like looks like a sponge. Like if I pressed my finger in it. God, I wish these things came with instructions. I'm just. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start. This is creamy ivory. Now see this looks too dark, but maybe I just don't know. What? Oh, that really is a sponge. And it's full of... It really is a sponge. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's much more my color. Wow. This, this little thingy absorbs the foundation into it and this has more foundation in it than I realize because this is really going on I enjoy using this little pad a lot more than the beauty blender and maybe that's just because of me that's probably my problem I don't like my eyeshadow that's just insane how much it looks like there's nothing on there but stuff is going on to my skin. I 
I don't know much about this stuff, but I do think that this is a really excellent foundation. It makes it so easy to use. Oh, you know what I should have done on my eyelids is put some concealer before doing the eyeshadow. Some of you probably already thought that, huh? And that probably would have helped the eyeshadow go on better, or potentially, right? Oh my gosh, this is my color. And then in the last video, I had that line right here. You know, that feels really good, too. I mentioned that the reason I never got into this is because I just don't like the feel of it on my face. But this, and I can still feel it. Okay, and then I used this in the last video, too. This is the Wet n Wild Dual Contour Stick. So we're going to do a little bit of contouring. And this is where I need to get the Beauty Blender back out. And this is, this is a really cool little stick. It, I got this in medium tan. For contouring purposes and I am going to put it up here as I've seen done this color is so much more on point and here and here oh I'm gonna snatch my nose and then I think that I want to put some of this white stuff under my eyes is this when they do the little triangles it is lighter it looks a little chalkier than the cushion foundation. I do think that the cushion foundation blends really, really amazingly. And then this is where I just feel like I'm punching myself in the face over and over. I feel like that just went away. Do you see anything there? I'm going to do a highlighter too. Do you see anything? Did it go away or... Hmm. Okay, I feel like it's gliding right off of this. I don't know. Tell me if I'm just being, if I'm just seeing things, but I don't, I feel like this contour is not working well with the foundation. No wonder. I feel like I've seen people put on contour and I feel like I, it looks like they just use so much and then it blends in and then they look fine. So I think that that's what's happening here. I need to put more on. <laughs> I'm gonna be overloaded, I bet, and I'm gonna end up looking like I have too much on. Okay, that went much better than my last video where I just turned myself into a pasty, pasty ghost. And then I have this. Try to decide if I want to use this Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter or play with a different one or just kind of go crazy and do a few. I think I'm going to go crazy and do a few. This one was a really highly rated highlighter that I sought out for going to my brother's wedding. And this one was uh, the highest rated, highest rated, most affordable highlighter I could find on Amazon. And it's Maybelline Master Chrome. This one's not cruelty free, but so far it seems like it's a good one. I don't have one of those fan brushes. I don't know which one is the best one to use right now for highlight. Maybe this one. I think I'm going to go with this big fluffy one. There's not very much on there. Is that, is that enough? Oh! Can you see it? Yeah, you can see that, right? See, there's none over here. Then can you see it there? I can see it over here. And I'm gonna put a little bit right there. Oh, that wasn't a little bit. Honestly, it's 7 p.m. I am doing this to wash it off. I feel like I need a little bit of rosiness on my cheeks. I'm going to go back to the Pacifica palette and I'm going to go to the blushes in the middle right there. I'm gonna take the pinker one. I'm gonna use the same brush because I am a Neanderthal. Huh? I probably should have done this before the highlight. Oh, that, that, that did something. I have a blemish here. I've been breaking out. Oh! Now, I think because the eyes are subtle, I'm gonna do something really daring. Since the eyes are subtle, <laughs> trying to decide. Let's do red. Oh, this is the Rimmel London Provocalypse, and I'll tell you more about it once I'm done.
This is a long lasting matte lipstick and it looks like this. These wear really well. Honestly, I haven't done a wear test on this color and I have noticed with long lasting lip colors, even the different shades within the same line can wear differently from one another. So I haven't done a wear test on this one. I haven't been bold enough to wear it, but this is pretty. Reds are so tough, so I didn't do a great job with the lines. I do wear a few Rimmel uh, Provocalypse colors. They are not cruelty free. I found this line before I decided to go cruelty free, but they wear really well. What I do think wears longer, the wear test is better. And this isn't cruelty free either, but I do really like the color stay. This is Maybelline. These wear really well, I think. And then I have a setting spray, and it's the same setting spray that I used in the last Get Ready With Me that I did, and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish. And it looks like this, and you shake it, and then you do this, and you close your eyes. And I learned not to open my eyes right away. And then I think that I'm supposed to I always see Jeffree Star do this. To dry it off. And this is the final look. It looks better than the last time. But, uh, thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you for my next video. Bye.